definitely see from this point why they call this turkey's turquoise coast. You, you just look at the waters and it's an unbelievable color. Really, really beautiful. Hi, we're Yvonne and Jeremy and we're slow traveling the world on a budget. Today, we continue our exploration of Turkey's turquoise coast, exploring the lovely towns of Fethiye and Kash. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we are continuing our exploration of Turkey's turquoise coast, and we're going to be exploring two towns in particular, Fethiye and Kash. So we've driven all the way west to the town of Fethiye, and let's go exploring. After getting some freshly fried and affordable seafood by the pier, we glimpsed a few sea turtles right next to the pier. We're just on the side of the river watching these ginormous sea turtles. We checked out Fethiye's massive Tuesday market. Before catching a beautiful sunset Whoa, at the Karataj nice. Plaza. We went all the way over there. <laughs> right there. So tiny. Isn't it so beautiful? One fun way to explore Fatie is by taking a relaxed boat tour to some beautiful coastal bays. We're at our second stop at a bay, and you can definitely see from this point why they call this Turkey's turquoise coast. You just look at the waters, and it's an unbelievable color. Really, really beautiful. So if you're looking for a way to spend a day in the sun or in the water or both, definitely check out one of these boat trips. There are tons and tons of vendors, so you can look at the reviews online or shop around to see which will give you the best price in the itinerary. But definitely we enjoyed our time. Now it's time to hop in the car and head to our next destination on the turquoise coast. We're at Sakaka National Park and we've rented these little water shoes to be able to walk through the canyon. This is cool, but you can see a 
lot of people in the distance. Are you ready to walk through the river? Yeah, let's go. This water is so cold. Ooh, it's like ice cold. <laughs> Whoa. Very smooth, right? Yeah. I love looking at how smooth the rocks are. It just shows how powerful water is. I'm not a fan of people ruining nature. Look, this is so smooth. So is everything else. This is also very smooth. I'm just touching everything at this point. After the first few hundred meters, the crowds kind of thin out and you get to walk in slightly more solitude than you would otherwise. This is the end of the road for us. After this point, you're supposed to take a guide. You can go at your own risk, but it's not recommended, it's not safe. Wow, so nice here. I definitely recommend going all the way, as far as you can, because you get to enjoy more of the canyons to yourself and you get better pictures that way. So right now, this is where we turn around and go back to the car. What I really appreciated about this is it's nice and cool as you're walking through the canyon. Now we're about to exit the canyon into the heat. It's back to being really cold again. We are visiting the most well-known and most photographed beach here along the turquoise coast and that's the Kaputash beach. But as expected, there's almost a kilometer of line cars all the way down the side of the highway. So we've got to walk quite a ways and walk over there carefully to visit the beach. Kapotash Beach is really beautiful, but will it make for a nice and quiet beach day? Definitely not, so make of that what you will. So right above the beach, there is this narrow canyon. So we're gonna check it out and see if it's cool. At the base of Kapatash Beach, there is a slot canyon. So this afternoon, we're going to take a short hike. In my mind, I thought it was gonna be just 10 minutes, but it's gonna be an hour to go up in this intense heat.
We're going up part of the Lycian Way, which is a really long and beautiful coastline path developed by the Lycians, and it stretches from Fethiye all the way to Antalya. It's pretty hot today, and it's already into the fall, so hopefully we brought enough water. Really nice breeze. Yeah. We've climbed as high as we're gonna climb today on the Lycian Way. A beautiful, beautiful sunset all over Akash and the surrounding islands. And it is incredible. We're trying to capture it, but I wish we could just convey just how beautiful and majestic this is. We had a beautiful sunset and now we're gonna try to make it down before blue hour is completely over and we're shrouded in darkness. Hiking with us. We either always hike back in the dark or hike in the rain. Maybe we'll have pleasant conditions today, who knows. <laughs> The next day, we went on a few underwater adventures in Kosh, the diving capital of Turkey. Yay, another day of diving! Follow like this, and there's a big passage here. So we came back to the hotel and rested a little bit and now we're off to our third dive for today, our last one. I think compared to Fethiye, Kosh is a much better diving location. I think there's just more to see, more reefs to swim through, more varieties of fish and yeah, we also saw a lot of lionfish. Going for our next dive.
this afternoon we're in the Ujais area and as soon as we got here a lot of different people are offering us boat tours to go visit Kekova the sunken city or to visit the Simena castle but we've heard that you can walk up there yourself so we're gonna try that and we're gonna walk over there and tell you what we find So we were able to find and we visited some Lycian tombs around the bay, but we realized that the road to the castle is in another direction, so that's where we're headed now. We're sweating buckets. It's into the fall now, but it's still super hot during the daytime, but Yvonne is being cheered up because she sees her favorite fruit, pomegranates, lining the sides of the roads. There is a road suitable for a car, but make sure you drive past the harbor. That was the mistake that we made, so you can continue as far as you can along to cut out some of the hiking time in the heat. Well guys, at the base of the Simena Castle, there's actually a huge parking lot and we made a huge mistake, so definitely drive past the harbor when you get here. What do you think? It's very beautiful from up here, but yeah, definitely we should have driven all the way. Yeah, exercise. We finally reached the Simena Castle. After you come down from the castle, you can walk through the village. There are a lot of different vendors selling homemade ice cream and various other trinkets. And you can pass by a few restaurants to an area where you can go swimming or kayaking. I'm trying some homemade ice cream, a homemade goat milk ice cream. It's just creamy, soft, rich, sweet. So good. If you want to go to Kasha's version of the weekly Pazar, it's open on Fridays. That's gonna do it for today's video. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to follow along as next time we go up north to explore the Black Sea region of Turkey. See you in our next video.